Hello everyone, welcome to Malik 034 channel. This is Malik Ajni. Today I am going to explain you about Oracle Rail Application Cluster and uh, its benefits or its advantages and what are the differences between the standalone versus rack in comparison with the three tier architecture. First of all, if you are new to my channel, I request you to go back to YouTube and search for Malik 034 and then please do subscribe and if you like my videos, please share, like and comment. Getting started with the today's session. Uh, standalone versus rack in, in three tier architecture. First, you understand what is three tier architecture. Three tier architecture it is kind of three layers in, um, in, in, in complete architecture design uh, com coming from the top layer and the middle layer and the bottom, la bottom layer or back end layer. The, the top layer is going to be end user application like whoever like whoever like end user can able to access via uh, URL or URL or via mobile or a desktop clients or a tablet or any, any kind of device how you are going to access your application that is going to be my front end or the top layer and the middle layer or middle tier it's going to be my application servers where it's going to be weblogic, apache, tomcat or anything and then my back end is going to be my database so at the back end it is going to be either standalone or a rack and then standalone is going to be one instance pointing to one database and uh, you know, back uh, rack it's going to be one database pointing to a number of instances if you see here, I have three applications, all three applications are pointing to instance one and in case of this instance fails, you know, all these three applications are going to be, you know, uh, downtime, you know, this application is no more able to communicate with my database. And similarly, if in the rack, uh, you know, all these three applications can talk to any one instance and if any one instance goes down, automatically this application switch over to any one, any other surviving instances. Like that, you know, we can achieve a uh, failover and high availability and, you know, uh, and the the performance improvement so if you see here like one instance can serve one application easily you know uh, the 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 response time and resolution time and you know the throughput everything is going to be huge here and in case this fails and automatically it will connect to any one of surviving instance you know this application can be served at any point of time and very minimal downtime here in the rack concept and also there is a huge throughput uh, because the n number of instance throughput will be high and comparison with one uh, single instance throughput and also I can add n number of instance without downtime I can remove n number of instance without downtime like uh, vertical scaling, horizontal scaling everything can be you know uh, made it uh, possible here in the, in, the, in the point of rack it is going to be online there is no near of downtime if I can typically uh, compare this rack concept this is my rack and this is going to be my standalone. This entire rack I can typically compare with rack architecture. I will be having n number of instances are going to be my instance like instance 1, 2, 3 like instance 1, 2, 3 up to n instance and then the client can directly connect to my instances and these instances can directly talk to my database. My database here, DB. these are my shared storage. I can add n number of disk online, I can remove n number of disk online and then I can add n number of instance online, I can remove n number of instance online and we will be having with the uh, uh, you know uh, public network and the private interconnect network and the SAN switch and then the backend uh, uh, you know SAN network or NAS network uh, there are many uh, you know all these networks are going to be high availability and bonded and it's, uh, redundant interconnect so everything is uh, going to be with the high throughput this typically my rack architecture hardware architecture looks like this and coming to the uh, advantages of my uh, rack uh, first of all high availability and scalability and manageability and reduced cost of ownership what do you mean by high availability the shared everything architecture guarantees that node failure do not implies loss of service as i said you know if this instance goes down this application is still able to communicate to my database either using instance 2 or instance 3 or instance for whatever the available instance it will take and it will uh, you know connect to it will be connect and it will be functioning that is high availability so high availability can be achieved using the transparent application failure tap and fast connection failover right so this is seamless to the end user or application so it is going to be happen at the back end you know end user does not have any idea how it is going to happen and the load balancing is going to be achieved using scan scan is uh, you know one of the uh, the the rack feature where you can achieve your uh, load balancing the load will be distributed up across all the nodes if i have four nodes here 
whatever n number of connections it will be distributed evenly across all the nodes that is how you know we can achieve the maximum throughput and then scalability as i said scalability i can go with the vertical scaling horizontal scaling if i can go here uh, this instance i want to increase ram or cpu i can bring down this instance alone and then you know i can increase my all the hardware component of this ram cpu hardware everything i can increase here and then this application connect to any one of the surviving instance whereas in the standalone if i want to increase the memory of this uh, instance you know i need to bring it down all this application is going to be down time that is scalability and then that is uh, you know uh, there are two type of scalability i said horizontal scaling and vertical scaling and whatever this instance is going to increase it is a uh, vertical scaling like coming to horizontal scaling i have three instances now i can add two more instances without downtime if i have three instances i want to remove one or two instances i can remove one or two instances and then this single instance can serve all these three so both vertical scaling and horizontal scaling scaling can be achieved without downtime in case of rack and manageability manageability is uh, one of the other uh, huge advantages uh, because uh, you know i can do instance caging resource manager and io manager and workload management what what that mean uh, if i see i have three application hr finance and you know uh, uh, marketing like if i have three application and then in a stand alone what happens you know i need three instances for example this hr has a very less work and this finance and marketing has a huge work so that you know this hr can serve only minimum 10 ios and this marketing and uh, uh, finance can have a more more ios and more throughput so that time you know i am not efficiently using this instance in case of stand alone whereas in case of uh, uh, rack what i'm what i'm going to do i'm going to restrict my cpu for the instance one and then you know i can increase the cpu for my instance two and instance three so that you know whichever application having a less uh, uh, functionality or less ios or less throughput so there i'm going to do my uh, you know going to reduce my uh, uh, limiting my resources like ios like cpus i'm going to reduce there and then the rest of the instance where it is uh, more more uh, online transactions or more uh, you know oltp olap there i'm going to give more resource to those uh, those loads or those load jobs so that you know i can smartly manage my uh, all the instances within my rack and then whereas uh, coming to uh, uh, storage here like if i have four disk i can evenly distribute all my data across all four disk so that at any time you know all disk will be used all ios will be achieved on all disk so whereas in stand alone data will be reside on any one of the disk you know instance can access any one of the disk one disk is going to be hot and other disk is going to be cold uh, you know i'm not as efficiently using all my uh, storage disks whereas in rack data is distributed evenly across all the disks and then at any time any uh, uh, any request is going to fetch data from all the disks and i'm utilizing smartly utilizing all my disks so that is again the smart manageability in case of rack and you know whereas in stand alone it cannot be achieved and reduced cost of the fourth advantage is reduced cost of ownership reduced cost of ownership is like sla service level agreement oracle if you are a rack if you are having a rack database oracle will uh, support uh, like different categories like uh, silver gold diamond and platinum so you know that has a different level of service level of agreement and you know it has a different timeline of response time so that you know you can get a highest level of uh, 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 you know support from oracle and additional hardware cost is not needed in case of uh, uh, stand alone you need to have four databases and you need to have four instances and four applications and four time you need to install your oracle software and you need to create four time databases so for that all you need four times license if you are going with a stand alone whereas if you are going with a rack you need to purchase only one license with one license you are going to uh, support n number of applications so that is again additional hardware cost can be minimized and additional licensing cost can be minimized so these are the uh, main benefits or advantages of uh, having a rack uh, and then uh, this is pretty much uh, uh, the hardware level architecture and this is a comparison between the stand alone and the rack um i hope this session is pretty much clear uh, thank you guys